It's the Ice Report with Tom Casey on 101sports.com. Tom Casey coming at you with your latest edition of the Online Ice Report right here on location from Scott Trade Center, where on Monday the St. Louis Blues made it official. Ken Hitchcock taking over for Davis Payne as the head coach. GM Doug Armstrong was in attendance as well, introduced Ken Hitchcock as the 24th head coach in St. Louis Blues history. Uh, Ken Hitchcock uh, comes to St. Louis with an impeccable resume, uh, a winner, someone that has, has molded and grown teams someone that knows what it's going to take for us to get to the next level, someone that I'm extremely excited uh, to have the opportunity to work with. Hitchcock comes in at a good time in terms of the fact that there are 69, as, as he comes in, 69 games left, a five-game homestand, so no travel for Ken after getting here on short notice to St. Louis. He claimed to have been contacted by Armstrong at 3 o'clock on Sunday afternoon, was shocked to get the offer, took the offer, and so a new head coach is in place. I've learned over time as a coach, as you get older, that uh, the game changes. Uh, I think I'm uh, as current or more current than anybody in the National Hockey League at understanding what changes have taken place not only in the style of game, but in the dealing with the personnel. And this time away for me uh, has really uh, been a godsend. It's, uh, it's helped me health-wise. It's helped me physically. Uh, it's, it's helped me emotionally, and like I said, I'm energized and I'm excited, and if I can get through this press conference without stumbling too much, I'd like to get back in the coach's room where I belong and get back to work with the guys back there. It'll be interesting to see how Hitchcock handles some things, namely the goaltending situation, because, of course, the backup, Brian Elliott, has been stupendous. The starter, Yaroslav Halak, has struggled, and so we'll see how this plays out. Perhaps uh, Elliott will get the first call, maybe go, be able to continue if he has the hot hand and go from there. So it'll be interesting to see how Hitchcock handles that. Also the special teams. Ken Hitchcock has had success with special teams in his past. The power play ranked 30th at last check. The penalty kill 27th at last check. Both need to be dramatically improved. But Ken Hitchcock told me that guys just have to buy in and that that's not a process that has to take a long time. Specifically citing experience coaching at World Championships, saying, hey, guys can buy in in a week, seven days, maybe less. So that will be important for the special teams to get a whole lot better. They also have to get more scoring from guys like Chris Stewart, uh, Patrick Berglund, T.J. Oshie. These guys are capable of more. The team as a whole is capable of more, and they'll have to provide that. Maybe they will under Ken Hitchcock. It's a new era in Blues history. Hitchcock taking over. Again, the 24th head coach in the team's history. Uh, it would surprise me the timing, but it didn't surprise me that a move was made because when the special teams are that porous and the offensive offense underachieves the way it did, you know something's coming soon. That's your latest online edition of the Ice Report. Again, on location here at Scott Trade Center. Back with another edition next week at 101sports.com.